Massive, live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications. Yo, what's up, Massive family? We're coming at you with some more Destiny, and this time, it is the Stormcaller's Path. We're gonna go ahead and unlock the Warlock's third subclass, Stormcaller. Only a few Guardians have the strength to wield the Stormcaller. So we're gonna go ahead and track this and head over to Mars. You can like embark on the storm callers uh quest which will allow you to get the third subclass of the warlock after the first mission with the taken king after that first mission you'll be able to embark on it a spark in the shadow head to the tunnels under the freehold on mars and face down the conductive mind for your own source of arc here we go launch but yeah i love what they've done to destiny in the taken king the Taken King has made Destiny, like, I don't know. It's just improved it in ways that I can't really, I can't really put my finger on necessarily. But it feels right. It feels right. The Taken King, A+. Plus, A+. Plus, I love it. Anyway, uh, the Stormcaller subclass is amazing. You've got unlimited power, which is... In the, in the form of throwing lightning from your fingertips, just like Emperor Palpatine. Freehold Station, Mars. What does it mean to be a warlock? Power. Only warlocks understand true power. True power lies in knowledge, in understanding. Power channeled, not controlled. The storm is raw power. The trance is true understanding. Both are required. The storm caller then is both the question and the answer, and thus what it means to be a warlock. Kinda reminds me of the mages in Dragon Age. Actually, it reminds me a lot of the mages in Dragon Age, I guess, because these are space mages. They're space magicians! Space Houdini. And we're gonna go after space lightning to shoot out of My her space fingers. My inner agents discovered a powerful Vex. A conductive mind, below the bones of Freehold. It has the arc source you need. Find it. it won't be easy. The Freehold tunnels are still crawling with Vex. Good. Storms emerge from conflict. Ha <laughs> That is true. Alright. You heard him. Let's go ahead and not call our Sparrow because we're close enough anyway. <laughs> I mean, honestly, how lazy would you have to be to go ahead and call your Sparrow right now when you're just a few feet away from the entrance? You'd have to be pretty lazy to do that. I mean, seriously, that would be like next level laziness right there. Anyway, I'm gonna toss a frag because we are getting swamped over here by enemies. Wow, he's he's really taking some damage. I'm gonna go ahead and use our space clock. Oh, we don't have a space clock. We have our shotgun equipped. I forgot about that. We had a realistic looking weapon in Destiny, and it looks pretty cool. It looks just like a Glock. We call it space clock. That's what we were using. Very interesting crosshairs. I'm not sure I like that. Alright, you know what? I've got those guys distracted over there. I'm gonna go ahead and slip through this entrance while they, uh, they don't see me. They totally do see me, though. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna hide in here forever. Let's just... Let's just make our way to where we need to be. Good lord. Good lord, though. So, I'm a, I'm a vanilla Destiny player, alright? I started playing Destiny when the base game was launched, and I completed it. I completed the base game. I did not purchase any of the expansions, however. Oh, I gotta watch out. I gotta recover some of my health. I do not like their resist. I do not like that at all. But anyway, I never played the expansions. I never played House of Wolves. I never played the Dark Below. 
This will be my first time play playing any of those, and I'm starting with the uh, the Taken King. I'll probably play the Dark Below next, and then House of Wolves. But I'm just really impressed with the Taken King. I did not necessarily like what I was seeing with the Dark Below or House of Wolves, which is why I didn't purchase them. House of Wolves did look better than Dark Below to me, but when I saw the changes that they implemented in the Taken King, I was like, you know what? I think I should go take another look. I really like the subclasses that they have, and here I am, enjoying myself a lot. Em enjoying myself immensely, actually. Like, the improvements that they made are... They're great. They should have been with Destiny since the start. Don't shy from the darkness, Guardian. Oh, that, that sounds a little dirty. <laughs> I'll try not to shy away from the darkness. That was scary to see in the dark. I like the Cabal a lot. They're like really beefy Tuscan Raiders. Speaking of Tuscan Raiders, I am super pumped for the new Star Wars movie. I don't know about you guys. I'm equally pumped for the new Battlefront because I'm a big, I'm a uh, big, big fan of Battlefront. I've been playing Star Wars Battlefront from, since the first iteration. Of course, I love Star Wars Battlefront 2. In fact, I'm pretty sure I prefer Star Wars Battlefront 2 over the first. But yeah, that doesn't mean the first isn't good. It certainly is. It's kind of creepy down here, actually. I like how much sand has found its way down into the metro. It's pretty realistic. I mean, <laughs> this metro would be covered in sand. It's not just any sand, though. It's space sand. Got quite a ways to go. Let's see you guys are saying in the chat room. Yeah, I do like Destiny. Well, what are the changes? Well, the biggest change is probably light level. Uh, light level is no longer something that is directly tied to your items. Akora? There's an army down here. Overcome it. They will keep you from reaching their master. For instance, instead of light level just being an arbitrary number, like uh, plus five light level on one piece of gear, plus ten on another piece of gear, and all these little pluses in your light level like, on your gear would, uh, increase your overall light level, and it would level you up from, let's say the base level is 25, and then you could keep leveling up to 26 and 27 and 28, even though the base is 25, through light levels. Once you take away the gear, obviously the light level that the gear had would go away with it. But now it's no longer like that. Now it is, uh, cumulative of your defense and attack stats. I'm pretty sure it's just defense and attack. Let me go ahead and check that. Yeah, your light score is an average of the attack and defense values across all your gear. A higher light score just equates to like how well suited you are to take care of difficult tasks. It is a representation of both your attack and your defense how well you can dish it out and how well you can take it. That's what light level is now, and I like that. I like that a lot. They also changed marks. I'm not sure exactly how the mark system works now. I need to uh, read some more into that, do some more research before I can say for sure. What do you guys can say in the comments, though? I would be happy to read it on stream. But, yes, Destiny has just been streamlined. It is now a more streamlined experience than it ever has been, and that's a good thing. We blew his head off. Nice. And he is a goner. All right. Conductive disciples are destroyed. We have destroyed one of the three conductive disciples so, uh, disciples so far. Once we destroy all three, we'll, we will have completed this uh, mission for the storm color. There is a second one right there. We do have a super. I'm not going to use it on him. I'm going to use it on the third one. You know what? I'm going to use it on both of them. Boom. Nice. We have some more goblins roaming around that we're gonna take care of. Sweet! Ikora, those constructs were supercharged with arc energy. The whole area is saturated with power. Find the conductive mind. You're not finished until its arc is yours. 
Oh, apparently there's no Crucible or Vanguard anymore. Very interesting. PvE and PvP both give legendary marks now. Interesting. I can't say that's a bad thing. In my book, that looks like a good thing. I like that change. Thank you for sharing that. I did not, uh... I have done quite a bit of research on the Taken King. However, since I did not play either of the DLCs, I just played a uh, base game Vanilla Destiny, and I'm getting back into it now. You know, after the, after two DLCs and the major expansion, the Taken King. I missed most of Destiny Year One, but I am back and here to stay now with the changes that they've made. Because I like the changes a lot. I think it's I think Destiny is really shaping up into the game that everyone wanted it to be in the first place. So I'm definitely happy about that. Sweet! God was taken care of. Look at this train. That's a good looking train. Or tram, I guess. Space train. Space train! Oh man! Doesn't that just sound like an R&B album from the 80s? It does to me. This is KTIT, and you're listening to Space Train on the all-rock, all-R&B radio station. Enjoy. Grenade out. Oh, I do not like that attack. I do not like that attack of yours. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a shock and blast to the face. And we have another supercharged already. That is pretty fast charge for a super. Very excited about that. I'm not sure if I'll even need it, actually. I mean... How hard is it going to be from here on out? Should be a cakewalk. We'll see, though. We'll just keep collecting loot. Knocking off these goblins. Taking it slow. That light looked a little dangerous. But it's just goblins again. Nice. How many of you guys, like, have played Destiny that are watching right now? Have you played Destiny? If so, what DLCs did you have for Destiny? Are you playing the, take, uh, the Taken King? How'd you like Destiny? How'd you like the DLCs? Dark Below? House of Wolves? Taken King, most recently. I'm curious to uh, know what you guys think. The general consensus is that... I mean, some people are upset with how year one stuff doesn't matter anymore. But, I mean, that's how it is in MMOs. I mean, if you get a, a major MMO expansion, gear is not good forever. But the general consensus is that uh, the Taken King is a, definitely a step in the right direction, and people seem to be very happy about it. Even not having played the two DLCs between Destiny and the Taken King, I think that this is uh, certainly a step in the right direction. All right, so we got to slay Vecra on the Conductive Mind and claim its Arc Source. Unless there's another Super! Death bot down here. Yeah, nice. The conductive mind. All right, we got some good hits on him. It looks like his health is 60% integrity, I think, at the moment. So we got a good opening strike. If we can just keep up this momentum of attack, we should have this guy, this Conductive Mind, taken down in no time at all. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, it has new enemy types, it has new environments, it has new hub worlds. Each DLC brings out uh, new stuff, and since, well, since the Taken King, you've got all kinds of new enemy types. New gear, new equipment, new places to go. And I'm just scratching the surface already, like, I was burnt out on base game Destiny, Vanilla Destiny. But... Every time I would try to return, I would still feel burnt out. I Granted, I didn't buy the DLCs, which I, I should have done. I should have at least tried. But I didn't. I didn't. I felt kind of hurt, like a lot of people did, when Destiny first came out. But, yeah, returning now, I don't feel, uh, I don't feel burnt out anymore. I really appreciate all the changes that they've made. And I hope that they keep going in this direction. This is the right direction. Activision, Bungie, please, continue in the right direction. 
Don't let this just be false hope. His destiny, like, could be so amazing. It could be so amazing if they just... If they just keep going like this. What? Is there something behind me that I should know about? Oh! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm so close to death. I am so close to death. I am close to death. Please don't die. Regen, regen, come on, come on. Yes. Yes! Grenade away. Hopefully that grenade does something. There is just so much going on right now. I I don't even know. I I don't even know. Oh crap! I'm gonna get behind this train. All right, let's get some pot shots off on him. Yeah, that's how it's done. My core, we've neutralized the conducted mine. Then I hope you've learned from its defeat. Let's teach you to wield lightning, Guardian. Oh, yeah. Fight the Vex and Arc Storm on Mars, learn to walk the Storm Caller's path complete. Mission end in 20 seconds. Let's see if there's anything around here we missed. Look at that lightning, look. Okay, so the, the effects in Destiny are great, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That looks really nice. That looks like some Street Fighter 2 the movie type of effects. And that movie had some awesome effects. All right, let's see how we did. Advancement, we now have the Icarus upgrade. And we got 99 kills, 42 precision kills, zero deaths, and no rewards. Okay, it's not like I wanted a reward anyway, so yeah, I guess that's all right. We got nine melee kills, 13 minutes spent on that. Continue, yes, let's. What's the scout rifle? It's a semi-automatic rifle. It's like an M1 Garand. Damn, that's a nice ship. I like that ship. That's the Fang of Nyx. Oh, what's that scout Mars. rifle? Oh, that's a new scout the rifle in The surface, Taken King. Seeking out rare arc storms, bathing in their power like hot springs. We have located one on the far frontier. If you are to call the storm to learn the trance, you must go. And let nothing stand against you. We are on our way to call a storm. Find a space to clear your mind, Guardian. This is how a storm caller begins. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like this environment. It's very, very stormy, which is fitting. Alright, we gotta find a place to uh, clear our minds. My mind is not clear. I've got enemies around me. God, I love the melee. I've always loved the melee in this game. Okay. So, can we head upstairs? I think we should head upstairs. First meditation. How do I do this meditation exactly? Find places where the arc energies are gathering and meditate. Vex presence may slow your enlightenment. Alright. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's our first meditation spot. Let's go ahead and take down these hobgoblins. Got one more to our right. Alright, sweet. Got to keep heading up according to my nav. Nice. Minutes are down. Take care of some of these harpies as well. We don't want any of these things messing with our meditation. There's an awful lot of them around here. Hey, come on. You're messing with my zen thing, man. Can't we just, like, I don't know, have, have some peace here for a minute? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
We got lightning. We got lightning. Sweet. All we have to do is clear the Vex away. Once the Vex are cleared, we should be able to meditate. This is a very spiritual time for Warlock, Guardians. I'm glad we can experience this together. I really like this, this, like, this ambiance. This is, this is nice. This is really nice. Look at the lightning strikes. Here, let's just take a moment. You see that? That is beautiful. I love storms, personally. Like, that is, that's one of my favorite things, is, like, rain and storms and lightning. It's just so cozy. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Oh, here? Is this the place? Damn, we have Vex around us. We can take him down, though. We don't want them slowing our meditation. Okay. Oh. This is nice. Ha ha ha! Unlimited power! Whoa. Good. The storm is aware of you, but you need its loyalty. Do it again. All right. We don't have its loyalty, but it is aware of our presence. And that's a start. We have to head to the second location and continue our meditation. And there it is. Nothing will get between us and our meditation. Except that. Except that. I do need to kill that. Kill it with fire! Except I don't have fire. I've got void and arc and stuff. That's all I got to kill it with. Okay. Back to this meditation business. Let's look at some of the lightning. Look how calming that is. Nice thunderous strikes. Hitting the earth hard. Oh, great. More of them. The storm begins to obey. Once more, Guardian. Alright. We have one more shot at this. One more meditation, and the storm should be ours. Crap, I gotta get up here. <laughs> there we go. Let's take down the rest of these guys. We are getting hit, so I'm gonna go ahead and let us recover before we continue our meditation. How bad would it look to the storm if we died? Storms don't die! How could its master die? We can't let that happen. We have more Vex coming up from the bottom of the stairs. They need to die. 86% meditation complete, 93, 98, 100%. Yes! Your lightning walks its own path. A show of force is in order. Call the lightning and become one. You will either rise a storm caller or not at all. All right. We wield the power of the storm. We've got to commune with the arc energy and manifest it into a living weapon. Let's do it. I like the music too. Listen to that. I'll be quiet for a second so you can hear. It's very, very subtle. You have to be listening. Very closely. I like that. Ha 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 ha! I love it! We now wield the power of the storm! We, Guardians, are now Storm Colors. If you pick the Warlock class anyway. New subclass equipped. Color rises. Let's turn our attention to the Vex. They're here for the Ark. Show them the Ark. Well, if you say so, they are here for the Ark. Let's give it to them. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Unlimited power! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, that is fun. Oh, that is fun. Feel my wrath! Yes! Yes! Look at the lightning just shoot from my fingertips. <laughs> Become one with the dark side of the force. Oh, you came out of nowhere. <laughs> can we jump? We can still jump. We can still jump. Witness the shocking conclusion of the Storm Colors quest. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Let me ride it to ride again, Daddy. I do enjoy it quite a lot. Look at the arc. It arcs between them. When you zap one of them, it, it, it zaps all of them. The lightning attacks are very, very impressive. <laughs> Once more we call upon the power of the lightning! Can we jump up? No. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa. Yes! Feel the wrath of Olympus! I'm gonna call upon it again, because this is fun. <laughs> oh, sweet. Can we do it from the sky? Yes, yes, you can. It brings you right back down to the ground, though. So if you do do it from the air, you can do it for like, I don't know, one kill, maybe, and then you're, land you're landing again. In very short order, you're landing again. Oh, oh, the AOE, the AOE, the arc and the AOE. Not stand against you, and the wind is at your back. You are a storm caller, and you wear the mantle well. The storm is both an answer and a question. As you carry your spark from this place, remember this. And teach this lesson to those that would drag you from the skies. So basically, kick their ass? Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's take a look at our... You know what? There we go. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, we'll take a look at the class in just a moment. So, we completed a Vanguard mission. Sweet. 94 kills, 15 precision kills. You can't be too precise with lightning after all. And zero deaths. Plenty of super kills. 49 super kills. Continue? Yes, let's. Yeah, it is kind of like the game Infamous. The lightning effects are very similar, which is... A good thing because the lightning effects in Infamous are fantastic. Okay, Stormcaller, Warlock sub, <laughs> Warlock, Warlock subclass, Harmony within, Hurricane without. Mm mm mm. Pulse grenade, Storm grenade, Focus lightning storm. An arc bolt grenade, a grenade that chains bolts of lightning to nearby enemies. This is just a regular pulse grenade. And you've got your standard glide stuff. You've got storm trance, which is chain arc lightning from your fingertips. On casting storm trance, fire a bolt of lightning into the ground, creating a devastating shockwave under you. Superconductor doubles your storm trance's lightning capabilities. Ionic blink. Press L3 to teleport during Storm Trance. That is very useful. I wonder where you teleport exactly. If you teleport like in your field of vision or behind you or what. Thunder Strike. De deliver an electrocuting arc melee strike at extended range. Your Thunder Strike chains to another nearby enemy. That's useful. Amplitude. Your Thunder Strike has greater range. And hits with Thunder Strike. Charge your super ability and melee energy. Arcane Wisdom. Training focused on battle recovery and speed. Blah, blah, blah. When critically wounded, trigger a pulse wave that boosts your speed for you and your allies. That's nice. Incoming melee attacks fully recharge and intensify your thunder strike. Transcendence. When cast with full grenade and melee energy, Storm Trance restores your health to full and drains slower. Training focused on all abilities. Training focused on raw speed. Toughness at all costs. Electrostatic Mind. Storm Trance charges faster when allies are near. When Storm Trance is active, nearby enemies take damage. 
Enemies damaged by your grenade chain deadly lightning. Wait. Enemies damaged by your grenades chain deadly lightning to nearby enemies. That's sweet. I like arc web. Perpetual charge. Grenades kill. Grenade kills to recharge your melee. Re melee recharges your grenade. Okay, so grenade recharges your melee and melee kills recharges your grenade. That's nice. That's uh, that's another nice one. This is an awesome subclass. Look how beautiful it is. They definitely put a lot of effort into the subclasses for Warlock, Hunter, and Titan alike. I'm liking the Taken King a lot so far. <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching this Warlock video on the Stormcaller quest and class. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny and other games as well. Until next time, game massively.